What's up guys, in this video we're going to be cooking up a, uh, a big old brook trout that we caught over the weekend and um, I'm going to show you the simplest way how to cook it. We're going to um, throw it in the oven, in the oven right here and uh, put it in there for a little bit and uh, I'll show you my favorite tips and techniques how to cook the trout and uh, I'll show you the simplest way how to do it. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Well, I just want to give a special shout out to uh, Mark Smith. He is the one that encouraged me to do this video. And I've gotten a lot of other encouragements to do this video too. So um, we're going to uh, cook this uh, brook trout up here. Because I think these brookies here, they're, they're my favorite ones to eat by far. The rainbows and the browns are good too. But the brook trout, they have they have the least fish flavor in the trout. I do from what, I'm, from what I believe and what, from what I've experienced too. So uh, we're going to cook this nice healthy brookie up and uh, I'll show you my favorite way how to do them. So what you want to do guys is first when you take your trout out of the, out of the freezer bag like this, you want to rinse them off. I mean this is pretty common, but you know you want to see how clean he is. I mean, look at the meat in him. Nice orangish whitish meat. I love it. And look at those beautiful brook trout colors. This is a, uh, in compared to my hands, my hands are pretty big too. So. This is a this is a good brookie right here, and I love brook trout. They're my favorite, so we're gonna get them nice and rinsed off. And uh, now it's time to now we're gonna season him, season him, and uh, rinse the slime off my hands since we don't want to contaminate the seasoning. So especially when you're dealing with food, you want to wash your hands a lot. I'm sure a lot of y'all know this, but let me get the uh, seasoning real quick. I can find it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of this uh, lemon pepper in there. Just sprinkle it on there a little bit. Let's get another bottle. Alright guys, we're going to take a little bit of this lemon pepper. We're going to um, sprinkle it on there a little bit. Don't put too much on there, but you know, get enough to season the fish. Get some in the front, a little bit in the back. That should be good. And then rinse the fish line off your hands, you know. And now let's get the next ingredient. All right, YouTube. Next step, we're gonna get some uh, butter. Well, of course, uh, well, uh, we don't have a cutting board right here, so we're just gonna use the sink. I know I'm a googan at cooking, so uh, get some nice clean chunks like that, and um, that should be good right there. And uh, I'm a complete googan when it comes to cooking, so uh, never trust Chef Dickerson when it comes to cooking. You know, let's put this back in the refrigerator. I know I'm uh, not the best chef, so uh, I mean these aren't the best slices of butter, but it's what we got to work with, you know. So. Uh, um, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, now I got the butter and the fish, and, um, yeah, we're gonna, uh, put the oven on at 350, so, uh, let's put it on, uh, put it on, whoops, put it on bake, 350, and, uh, now it's preheating. And now let's go rinse our hands off again since we cut the fish. And um let's get some tin full. It should work right here. And get a nice long chunk of that. Just like so. And now let's put the fish on the tin foil. Wrap it up like so. I know I'm not, not the best chef, like I said, Chef Dickerson. 
never trust them when it comes to cooking, but we'll see. And um, I'm just going to stick them in the oven and let them cook for about 20 or 30 minutes. And uh, then I'll check back up with you guys. And of course, if you're a chef and cooks fish, you got to clean up after yourself a little bit. So uh, take this rag and, you know, clean up our little butter mess since we didn't have a cutting board on us, unfortunately. But uh, we got, we just had to use what we got, you know, but uh, yeah, so it's got our mess cleaned up and let's, uh, I think, but they got our mess cleaned up a little bit and uh, yeah, let's uh, Wait on the fish to cook, and uh, then I'll check back up with you guys and see how good it tastes. All right, YouTube, then um, check this trout here, see if it's done or not. We, it's been about 20 or 30 minutes since we put it in, so let's see the skin peels. Oh, perfect. Just like that, this fish is done. Just like that. See that beautiful meat right there? That's what you want. That's what you want the truck to look like. Ugh. Looks like a little piece of meat. Let's get another piece of meat. You got a piece of meat to try? Yeah. That's some good fish right there. Um. These brook trout are my favorite to eat, to be honest with you. But, um. Yeah, these, uh. Yeah, these are. Yum. This is some, uh. Some good fish right here. But anyway, this is kind of clued it up for this catch and cook video. We tasted the fish, tasted good. And, um. I'm gonna wrap it up and, uh. Yeah, and see what we can do. Now guys, catch you on the next one. So if you uh, make sure, like content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.